Good morning. Hope you're all well wherever you may be. It's um there's a, there's a lot of amazing things that are happening in the world right now. And I suppose if we really looked deeper into it at any particular time, there's amazing things happening. Today, to be able to just, you know, enjoy our environment and be present to just the basic and, and simple native wonders that exist around us. You know, it really comes from, to me, from a place where we can maintain our own silence, where we can not be distracted by all the things that we have to do or who we should be and when we should be and everything else that we're intending on fitting into or, or trying to create in order to be accepted by others. It's um, when we actually bring silence to ourselves or when we purposefully go somewhere like, like where I am right now, just a, a space out in the open outside on the sun, you start to just hear the birds, insects and, and a whole range of other things and th there's a real peace and presence that comes to that and it's not hard to do. But th these things are available to us all the time. To be able to accept ourselves allows us to see what's around us in the environment in, in a very beautiful way. When we're pissed off, when we're angry, when we're frustrated, when we're not being true to ourselves, we start to see that in the environment around us. And I, I know with what we do and what, what my intention and in, in bring to the world is, is at times speaking an inconvenient truth and at times you know, bringing to people's attention some of the challenges or the compromises that they maintain in their life. And I've got no doubt that that's challenging for some people to hear. And sometimes it can be overwhelming and exhausting for people to hear. But to me, when we start to accept ourselves and learn how to navigate, we start to embrace and welcome those areas where we can evolve and step into and embrace. It's when we start to own something, we can then start to shape it. We can then start to create from it. But when we're in denial of the truth that's going on around us because of our own inability to accept ourselves, we become challenged. And we start to try and convince others to give us love, to give us attention, where we're not yet able to do that gracefully for our own self. So today's topic is self-acceptance. And let me be really clear that these 17 days, it's a bit of an insight into what it is that we share, but we exist to bring about leadership in individuals, to be able to have people see beyond the masks, beyond the facades, beyond what they've been taught and stop blaming others, but start to be able to navigate themselves and move out of opposition and living because of something, but living for something, something through you, not by what others are triggering you, causing, limiting, whatever it may be within you, that you're doing it for yourself. Because it's through that that you find a real deep level of acceptance and love that can only be found in you being able to move through your own darkness. We all have it. Some of us are just better putting on a braver face and maintaining a, a positive outlook where it doesn't serve us in, in a longer part of our own life. When we have a, a deep relationship with those around us, it's because we're enabling them to be able to share vulnerably, openly, without judging them. And when people feel that, there is a connection that's created that's undeniable. And this is what we're looking to share within our own selves. And I wanted to speak a little bit into here. A common thing at the moment, there's a lot of, a lot of us uh, are seeing something or that we don't like. And, and we're trying to express that to our friends and families for fear of them not being aware of it or being manipulated in some way. But what, one of the great things about self-acceptance is not about being fearful of speaking your truth, but it's about being able to be, to be accepting of the vulnerability that comes when you do speak your truth. It's not needing other people to accept you and say, I agree with you, I back you, and I'm on board. It's your ability to be able to say what it is that's true to you without filter, but then being able to navigate and move through the discomfort on the other side because that is you stepping into a space where you haven't been before, where you expose yourself, where you now get more attention placed upon you, and you start to feel that. It's unusual. It's not it's not natural, but it is native. And it's, it's natural for all of us if we're going to grow at any particular point in our life and we're going to expose ourselves, we have to recognize judgment is a part of exposure. They're coupled together. And when they're accepted, when you accept judgment in your life from others, you allow yourself to expose yourself more freely. It's not about then fighting back against. It's about recognizing that's a natural part of me coming into expressing myself openly. 
So when it comes to self-acceptance, we need to recognize that when we do something that is different, unusual, and uncommon, we are going to feel a level of vulnerability because we haven't done that before. We haven't felt that before, so it's different. Like what's going on in the world at the moment, we don't know how to navigate through this because we've never been here before. And it's not just the, the nature of what's happening at this point in time, it's every moment of life. So self-acceptance is about being completely responsible for how we feel and then choosing to get it back to a place where we're at ease, where we're at comfort, where we're in a space of calm that we can then progress forward without continuing to stay stuck in that reaction. Because then we're going to be controlled by what everyone else wants or needs and we have to acquiesce ourselves into being accepted by others and if we're not accepted by others, well, we're not whole. There's, a, there's an idea that's arising in this, in this um, plane or wherever we live for you, but there's an idea that's existing that we need to find sovereignty. And sovereignty is about moving away from a dependency of others, but establishing an absolute independence within our own selves. And when we do that, it's when we come to understand that we sustain, that we give ourselves love, that we give us everything that we require and what we receive from others is we don't have an agenda. We don't have a requirement of how that's given to us. We allow people to give it to us in a way that is true to them because we're not limited in void in our own self that we accept them, expect them to fill our own challenges, to, to move us through our own pains. Self-acceptance is about you being completely responsible for how you feel and then being confident and certain enough and responsible enough to make the changes to get yourself back to that state of calm. Not blaming, not holding someone else accountable because that's just going to keep you in a loop. And that's a big part of what we want to look to in this particular point in life is stop blaming other people. You are only investing yourself in a state of disunity, discord, and it's a complete building of the ego. It's the identity that needs to be accepted by others rather than by yourself. Self-acceptance requires us to learn to navigate ourselves and come to accept our very difference, to want to explore what we are. To me, it is the starting point that until we accept ourselves as we are, it's not that we know everything of us, it's that we accept what we are. We accept that we have some areas we don't understand. We accept that we may not be great in certain areas, but what we also own is we accept where we're brilliant. And for many of us, we try to have an opinion in so many different areas, especially as an adult. We, we, we kind of know everything. We have an opinion on everything. We don't have that capacity to that, that, that humility to say, you know what, I don't know. We, we've got to accept our own vulnerability. And vulnerability is about moving into a place that we've not been before. It's not about breaking down. It's not about being weak. That's sensitivity. Vulnerability is at any particular moment moving into an unknown space. We could cry, we could break down, we could fall apart. But it's a willingness to go through and accept parts of ourselves that we haven't yet. So these particular experiences and the things that I'm sharing with you is not about buying into a philosophy or an idea. It's how do I do that? Yes, self-acceptance sounds great. But how do I do that? This is not about a singular process that everyone follows and does and gets into lockstep with. This is about you learning to discover your own native, what it is that's within you, how to actually move forward in such a way that's so simple and because it's simple because it's within you. It's not about implanting other people's ideals upon you, philosophies of the past from, from yoga to chakras to, to levels of consciousness and ancient wisdom. This is about being in this particular moment and having such a certainty of your own self that you transcend all of the things that have come before you, that you come to understand yourself in this moment. We all have that capacity and we're all in some form giving it away until we start to come into our own truth. To accept our significance is the very significance we seek. Tomorrow we have a a first of our webinars inviting people into a pre-launch before we officially launch in about two to three months from now. It's for 50 people. We're having our open webinar tomorrow where people can ask questions and understand how they can be a part of that. But make no mistake, this requires a deep level of responsibility. It will confront you. And it will confront you because it causes you to see within yourself with a true level of accountability. This is not something that someone else is telling you. This is about you learning how you can see the truth within yourself and then be able to make those changes to move past them, to let go of the deceits.
to release yourself from the limitations. To not talk about it, but to how to actually move through it. I hope you have a beautiful day where you are. Take some time to accept yourself, to look at your weirdness, your difference. The things about you that are unusual. And start to recognize why they're completely perfect. Much love. Thank you very much for listening. And until we meet again on the inside, enjoy you.